Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to hide the pagination on an individual blog post in your Squarespace website. Pagination are those links at the very bottom of a post that show up automatically to direct visitors to the previous or the next post. We're going to use a little bit of custom code to hide the title, hide the arrow, and hide the whole thing. Now, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but there are two different ways that we're going to install this on the Squarespace website. One of them is specific for a personal plan. So let's hop on into my demo site and I'll show you exactly how this works. Alrighty, so here we are in my demo site in a blog and I'm going to hop into blog post two so we can see both the previous and the next. This is where I have the codes that we're going to use to hide the title text here as well as those arrows. So I've got three different codes. This one, this very first one, will hide both of them. This will hide the text and leave the arrows. Pagination title wrapper is the container that the text lives in, so that's a good way to hide it. And then we can hide the arrow and leave the text. That's item pagination icon. So let's go ahead and start with this first one. And again, there are two different ways that we're going to install this, so I'd like to show you both. I'm just gonna copy this code and I'm gonna click this gear icon right next to the title for my blog. Here you'll see the blog menu pop up. This is our blog settings menu. And on the far left-hand side, we can scroll all the way down to advanced. Under advanced, the very last option says blog post item code injection. That is going to place code on every single blog post in this blog. So clicking into here, this is where I can add the code. And this part is super duper important. Inside the blog item code injection here, you can have multiple types of code. So we have to tell the browser it's a style code. Now I have this zoomed in on the video so you can see. It says left caret, the word style, right caret, then the CSS code that we're gonna use to hide the all pagination links there and then left carrot forward slash style right carrot. If you're watching this on YouTube, I can't put these little carrot symbols in the description, so make sure that you see exactly what's going on here, okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead and click back because I wanna show you one last time. We're in post blog item code injection, this very last option. This applies it to every single blog post. Now I'm gonna select save and let's take a look here. In our second blog post, you'll notice at the very bottom, pagination is gone. Same thing here for the third post. Let's scroll down, no pagination, and not visible in the fourth either. It worked on every single blog post. Now our other two options here are to hide the text and leave the arrows, hide the arrow and leave the text. Let's grab this one and I'll show you really quickly, just pressing Control C on my keyboard here to copy it. I'm gonna click this gear icon to go into the advanced menu, select advanced, post blog item code injection. And again, between those two style brackets is where we're gonna to wanna to paste the code that says don't display the pagination title wrapper. That's the container the text lives in. I'll select save and let's check it out. The arrows are there, but the text is gone. Pretty awesome, right? Now let's say we wanna hide those arrows, but we are not using a business or commerce plan. If we click on this gear icon and go back to our advanced menu and hop into post blog item code injection, you'll notice this warning here is this premium feature. This is just for business and commerce plans. If we wanna hide this on an individual post, but you're using a personal subscription plan, we need to add a code block. So what we're gonna do is take this code, I'm just gonna remove it, and we'll select save, everything will go back to the way that it was. There we go. And let's say we just wanna hide the arrows on a blog post, but we're only on a personal plan. I'm gonna hop into edit mode on this individual post and click the plus sign right here. This is where I can add a block of code. Clicking code, again, I need to use the style brackets because I can have multiple types of code here. I'm gonna say style, paste the code that says don't display the icon, clicking out of here and let's scroll down, check it out, just the text is left. Now let's say we just wanna display the uh, text or hide the text and display just the arrows. Let's do that. That was the second code there, also listed in the description below. I'm gonna paste that code in between the style brackets and check it out. Now we just have the arrows and let's go back to that original code that hides everything. I'm going to double click on my code block here and I'm gonna paste it between those style brackets. Now this code uh, content block used to have the word apply as an option, it's gone, so you can just click outside of the content block and it'll go away, but we have hidden the pagination. Now this is super important. I'm gonna select save because I want you to notice when we navigate to another blog post, this blog post will still have the text and the arrows. The code block that we applied to hide the text and the arrow 
This uh, only has one on the left because there's no blog post to go to after it. <laughs> but anywho, back here on post two, the code that we use to hide that pagination only lives on the content of post two. That's the only time it loads on the site. So if you're using a personal plan and you have to install code this way, you have to do it on every single blog post. Otherwise, hop into the advanced section here under your blog settings and paste that code to apply it to every single blog post if you're on a business or commerce plan. Now you might be wondering why I'm telling you to put this in the post blog item code injection instead of your site-wide CSS. That's because the pagination in a blog in Squarespace 7.1, this code name right here, as well as the text, as well as the arrow icon, that is exactly the same for every single blog on your site, as well as every single project inside a portfolio. So I recommend installing it under the advanced section here inside post blog item code injection so that you're only hiding pagination on the specific blog you're working on. And again, if you're a personal plan, install it on the individual post instead of your site-wide CSS. Alrighty, that's it for this tutorial. Again, those codes are listed in the description below, and I find it really fascinating that it's the exact same code name that you would use for a project inside a portfolio in Squarespace. Isn't that interesting? Now, I do have a video I released earlier this week at the same time this one came out that is about the differences and similarities between blogs and portfolios inside Squarespace. A link to that is in the description below if you want to learn a little bit more to figure out which one is the perfect one for the website style you're going for. Now that's it for this tutorial. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something awesome. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my pro tips and custom codes specifically for Squarespace into one PDF. And you can download a copy right now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.